Here you can see Florida fast isopods eating the poop for my from my corn snake. You can actually see the white fur from the mouse or the mice. That's what's good about having a bioactive terrarium and having springtails, earthworms, and isopods. They take care of the terrarium for me. They're chopping away at it. You can even see the babies. Yum, yum, yum. I put some isopod food in there, little bait stations or little food stations. Pothos, I got an arrowhead plant here. That's basically 95% of the terrarium is the arrowhead. It just grew and went crazy. Down in this corner is a pothos. Pothos angel plant. One of the leaves turned yellow, not getting uh, enough sun from the LED growing light. And those are the only isopods I have in here, I didn't want to mix breed, is the Florida Fast, which I found out they're the fastest breeding isopod. They're also the fastest, technically, when they run. That's why they're called Florida Fast. But I wanted a really fast breeding isopod, and that's why I decided to do the Florida Fast. There are thousands upon thousands of them in here. Really hard to see. I also have earthworms. There's about seven, seven inches or so of soil, so it's not like your normal terrarium for a corn snake. So all the way down here is the bottom, all the way up here is the actual soil. So there's about five, six, seven inches worth of soil. Yeah, there you can see some earthworms, red wigglers that I ordered online. There's springtails in here. They're extremely small, so you probably won't pick them up on the camera. Let me zoom out. So yeah, that's his little, uh, my little corn snake's jungle. That's his personal jungle. 
Now, the terrarium obviously is Carolina Customs. It's 24 by 18 front to back and 36 inches high. So 24 from left to right, 18 front to back, 36 inches from the top to bottom. And when the corn snake Sunny gets bigger, I'm actually going to do Carolina's custom cage. It's going to be 48 inches from left to right, 18 inches front to back, 36 high. It's going to be a monster of a terrarium. It's going to be 48 inches long. 18 front to back 36 high and instead of having these two glass doors that you open and swing out towards you that terrarium is actually going to have glass sliding doors because because of, of the size of the terrarium that terrarium is like five six hundred dollars and i didn't exactly buy that yet because he's still sort of um a small corn snake yet He's still got probably another year, year and a half to two years of growing in this terrarium. When he gets a little bigger, maybe four foot, maybe three foot, um, then I'm probably going to bite the bullet and buy the big 48-inch terrarium. And, it's, and I'm also probably going to take these arrowheads and both those plants and everything out of here and transform it or tr uh, transport it to the other bigger terrarium. And then in that terrarium, I'm actually going to do a miniature tree. It's going to be a Schaeffler tree at 22 inches high, which I'm going to actually have to prune the branches frequently. So there's actually going to be a full-size miniature tree in the, in the bigger terrarium when I do it. Um, I was debating on taking part, like maybe the left side of the terrarium, and turning it into a waterfall, kind of like a lake, like a miniature lake or a pond with a uh, water pump system and a false bottom and all that and then gradually have the dirt go up to into the jungle so it would probably be like uh, think about like Vietnam so like you got part of the jungle land and then there's a section of water where he can go into and soak and everything if he wants to. I haven't decided on how I'm going to do that yet. Or if I'm even going to do that. It might just be a full size jungle terrarium. And just buy a really large water bowl for him to soak in. Obviously my, my whole objective is to make it as realistic as possible for him. Um, as close as to natural as possible. So like his little water dish. I have it right there on on a um, an Aguanda hammock. That's basically suction cup to the glass. It's just a little water dish that he can crawl up and drink it, drink out of it. I do have the sprinkler systems in here. Like right there is one of the nozzles, and right there's another nozzle. So it it right here I have the water pump system. Right here is one of the nozzles, one of the spray nozzles. Under the under the tank heater, on this side, on the right side, the left side is the cool side. So there's a lot of places where he can crawl and slither. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video.